I am commanded by the consuls to read this letter, signed with the signet of the emperor. Tiberius Caesar to the senate, greeting. I pray that heaven may look kindly on my plans for the peace and prosperity of Rome and the Roman Empire. With these ends in mind, and since I myself am growing old, I ask the Senate to appoint a man who can be my assistant and strong right hand in the tasks that still remain to be done, who can stand as second man in the Roman Empire as I myself stood second in the last years of the divine Augustus. And therefore I ask the Senate to vote that the Tribunician power, symbol of authority created by Augustus for this purpose and granted to me at Augustus's request, should now be granted in similar fashion to my son Drusus. Did Sejanus speak? He sat sublimely silent, as if he knew it all beforehand. No doubt. As if indeed he had decided it himself. That's possible too. Did anyone stand up and say that my son Nero Caesar is the one who must be the next emperor? Uh, at a guess, half the senators thought it, and nobody said it. You are cowards. No. Shall we go there ourselves and tell them? A woman and a boy. My lady, we must be secret until we can be strong. You do understand the point of giving you the tribunician power. You nominate me in effect as your success. The point of giving you the tribunician power is to make the world believe that the succession is settled. Although, in fact, it is not. The fact is unimportant. What matters is the belief. But surely... While you the succession was in doubt, we were in danger of civil war. It is no longer in doubt. We shall have peace. You mean Agrippina won't dare try Agrippina to... Agrippina is determined to set her darling son, Nero Caesar, on the throne. She thinks all that stands in her way is an old sick man hated by his people. At least she thought so until today. Now she knows different. Now there is you as well as me. If I were killed, you would avenge me. Of course. And from now on, you have the power to do it, so she won't dare try. Am I, in fact, to be your successor? Now that Germanicus is dead, you are the best available substitute. I shall become emperor. Yes. Thank you for saying it at last. Under the same conditions as I did, as a stopgap, as a regent. For whom? For Germanicus's son, Nero Caesar. Because he is a direct descendant of the, of the divine Augustus. I told Augustus it was not in my power to change his will. Am I bound by your agreement? I am bound by it. I must bind you. Give me your pledge. Father, suppose... It always astonishes me that anyone should wish to be emperor, but if you do so wish it as a condition, you will hold the empire in trust for Germanicus's son. And my own son, Gemellus? He will have to be content with second place. Your pledge? I give it. Thank you. If it's Nero Caesar after me, why not announce it? Why not tell Agrippina? Wouldn't that put a stop to her scheming? <laughs> On the contrary, it would be a springboard for her ambition. If the succession is agreed, let it be sooner, let it be now. Yes, I see that. In any case, she'd be quite unbearable. Widow of an almost emperor, mother of the one after the next, she'd think it her right to advise me. And I've had enough guidance from mothers. Sir, it's to be a secret. Tell no one, neither shall I. Not even Sejanus? No. I thought you told Sejanus everything. You and I have some secrets. He and I have others. This is the first. Don't despise Sejanus. He is extraordinarily useful. He is extraordinarily arrogant. 
A servant needs to be given an illusion of power. Is it just an illusion? When you're emperor, you'll need Sejanus. Or someone like him. Then it'll be someone like him. Sejanus! Greetings again, Brutus. And Claudius. Sejanus, my cousin Claudius informs me that he is not saluted by the Praetorian Guard. Oh, that, really? That is so, Claudius. <laughs> not important. That is so. Yes. Is it on your instructions? The list of those to whom honours are paid is selective. Claudius is a member of the Imperial family. Well, that is not enough in itself. But they salute you. I am their commander. But the son of a mere knight, not even a member of the aristocracy. Well, some of us rise by merit. And some by intrigue and trickery. And some by nothing. But that birth. I've got uh, uh, oh. Sir Janus, from now on, the Praetorian Guard will salute my cousin Claudius. Commander of the Praetorian Guard takes orders only from the Emperor. Well, who am I? Not from his offspring. Do you know what happened this afternoon? I was there. Do you know who I am? Do you know who bribed and bullied the Senate into voting it? I'm afraid that was a mistake. It's all right. It's only me. Good evening, wife. Where have you been? <laughs> Do you know, I had three guesses what would be the first thing you said when I came in, and I was right all three times. We had friends to dinner. Yeah, well, I dined with other friends. In a brothel? No, next door to one. <coughs> Don't come near me. <laughs> Why not? You stink of wine. Oh, so I should. Go and sleep somewhere else. Do you realize you're talking to the next emperor? Next emperors can do as they please. Tiberius told you that? Uh, didn't you hear? Said it this afternoon. But Tiberius told you himself. Uh, next emperor, yes. He meant it, you're sure? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No doubt. No doubt at all. Everyone's got to believe it. My God. I suppose that means you're the next empress. Oh, well, it's what you wanted. Does Agrippina know? Oh, bound to. Bad news travels fast. I'll invite her to dinner. I want to see her face. Oh, don't bother to gloat. Let's wake him up. Who? Jamelus. What? Why? To tell him you're going to be emperor, and then him. No. Why not? <laughs> He's only three. He can understand. Can he? Poor little devil. I hope he can't. What do you mean? There's nothing. What did you mean by that? No meaning at all. You meant something. What did you mean? Villa. You ready? Is Drusus still asleep? Drusus has gone to the baths in the hope of curing his hangover. Ah. I came as soon as I could because I have news. I'm always ready for news. Drusus will be the next emperor. The whole of Rome knows that by now. And the next emperor but one will be Nero Caesar. Is it worth at least a kiss? At least a thousand. Of course, it's absurd to think that anyone's conspiring against Tiberius. Sir Janus would like us to think it. For good reason. The more Tiberius needs protection, the more important Sir Janus is as his protector. I foresee a new outbreak of treason trials. Encouraged by Sir Janus. And endorsed by the Senate. <laughs> God bless them. The Senate, as always, will do as they're told. What do you think, Nervan? Of the Senate? Of treason trials? 
as an imminent jurist. It is an offence against the law, punishable by death, to diminish the majesty of the Roman people. Yes, but the vagueness. It can cover anything, from attempting the life of the emperor to slandering a provincial magistrate. Shouldn't it be changed? Tiberius doesn't change laws. He administers them. Rather well, I should have thought. But that absurd trial of Clutorius six months ago. Ah, oh, yes, a great pity. Drusus, you remember. What? Clutorius, when you were ill, he wrote a poem on your death. In extremely flattering terms. And was accused of treason. Yes, well, he was a fool. But hardly a traitor. No. It's the system set up by the old republic. Any citizen may institute a prosecution. And if it succeeds, will receive a reward. Uh, so Sir Janus fosters his professional accusers. That is the system. At least it's open. What would you rather have, a secret police? So Clutorius was condemned to death for writing bad verses. <laughs> In anticipation of an event which never happened. <laughs> oh, we're delighted to say. Thank you. Is that a good system? It depends on the judges. Who are the Senate? Oh, the Senate. <laughs> Hopeless. I was there. I couldn't... Well, Clutorius' trial. Yes, so oh, was I. Only one senator spoke against the death sentence. You? No, I'm not really a senator. I'm <laughs> not allowed to speak. <laughs> Poor Claudius. But, but it wasn't you. No. But the point is that Tiberius said afterwards he should not have been condemned. He reprimanded the senate. And now you sit the here. It is. There was a strong suspicion that the verses were intended as a form of magic. That's ridiculous. Isn't it, uh, Drusus? Why? Oh, I, I, no, it's. <laughs> Forgive me, Agrippina. I, I'm not well. Yes, a fever. Much the same as you had six months ago. I'm afraid the. Uh, may be subject to these attacks. You cured him six months ago. I'm happy to say it. Cure him now. I'm giving him the same course of treatment. I trust with the same results. Are you uncertain? A doctor is not an astrologer. You're right. The science is inexact. Regrettably. Eudemus. Caesar. I can, in my way, be exact. On the day Drusus returns to health, I shall make you a present of 50,000 sesterces. I pray that I may earn it. I'm not a praying man. Do you believe in the gods, Sir Janus? I believe in the stars. So do I. Shall I send for Thrasyllus to read the stars for me? Let me fetch him. No. <laughs> I'm growing old and timorous. Since the death of Germanicus, I've become afraid of knowing the future. You live for many years yet. Thrasyllus says 15. I can't pray, but I can hope. Fifteen more years of this imprisonment with hard labor, holding an empire together. Six months ago, when Drusus was ill, I was prepared for his death and for a rebellion. I should have fought it only half-heartedly. At the first sign of defeat, I would have exiled myself to some agreeable island to spend my last days as a gentleman of leisure but now... What? Now? Now I leave you to put down the rebellions. For myself, I'm readier than ever for retirement. But Drusus must not upset my plans by dying. Uh, uh, Sleep, darling. Drink. My lord. Water? Your medicine. It's to make you better. Drink. More. Drink. My son. Feed. 
fever. On the fever, I got him pneumonia, putting down the rebellion. Yes, darling. Oh, the rebellion. You must sleep. God, God. You must try. God, can't die. Can't. Next emperor. son, Tiberius Drusus Caesar, is dead. to the Senate, the son of my adopted son, Germanicus, the great-grandson of the divine Augustus. I commit him to your charge and guidance. Born as he has been born, what is good in him and what is bad are matters of concern to the state. He is of an age to assume official duties of a junior kind, we shall pray that he shows signs of ability as a promise for the future. For myself, stricken by sorrow and failing health, I wish nothing more than to lay down my own duties at the earliest moment consistent with the security of Rome and the Empire. When that moment comes, the Senate must consider whether to restore the Roman Republic and to entrust the government to the elected consuls or what other course to pursue. Arrested? Claudia arrested? This morning. Who accused her? Domitius Afer. Ah, uh, of course. He would do anything for advancement. And Sejanus can give advancement. What is Claudia accused of? Adultery and seeking the life of the emperor by poison and magic spells. That's mad. Oh, Afer will make a case. Claudia is no more careful of her tongue than, than you are, my lady. But poison? Unfortunately, the charge of adultery is only too easily proved. Am I to lose all of my friends, one by one, under some pretext or another? If Sir Janus has his way. Yes. So we must get rid of Sir Janus. And then get rid of Tiberius. My lord, I do beg you to remember, and I beg you too, my lady. Claudia's real crime is that she was heard to speak against Tiberius. Rome is full of informers. If Sir Janus can catch any of us, he will. Would he touch the imperial family? I am coming to believe that Sir Janus will dare anything. Then I shall out-dare him. Welcome, Agrippina. What can I do for you? Release Claudia. Stop the trial. It is not within my power. You can do whatever you like. If I break the law, who will keep it? Then change the law. And give myself more power. You can hardly wish that. Claudia will be condemned not because she spoke against you. Is that one of the charges? No. But because she is my friend. Is that one of the charges? No. Her only crime is loving me, like Sosia and her husband. And what happened to them? Sosia and her husband were accused of extortion, if I remember. And treason. They seem to admit their guilt by committing suicide. Is that what you want? To get rid of my friends one by one? To kill off my party before it's too... 
I was not aware that you'd formed a political party. With what object, Agrippina? There is one here who has formed a party with a single object, to destroy me. Sir Janus, I'm merely an executive. You are seeking to destroy me by destroying everyone close to me until you have me alone, and then it'll be me you kill. For whose sake, his or your own? Well, since I deny it, I also deny the motive. No, but help me, we must get Agrippina to see reason. She is concerned for Claudia. As I am, but the law is the law. An accusation may be made and must be answered, isn't that so? It has been so since the Republic. I was born under the Republic, I think well of its laws. Claudia will have every opportunity to defend herself. The best defense is to be innocent. Let me speak to you alone. Not if you are going to make a scene. Never can stay. I hate your calmness. I was trained in it by long years of disappointment. You grew up with the promise of power. I did not. What is my son growing up with? Your son will advance by degrees to high office if he proves himself worthy. How high? That depends on the worthiness. As high as the throne? Agrippina. The politics of Rome, which will be solely concerned with what is best for Rome, are bedeviled by the question of the succession. Put it out of your mind. Who knows if Rome can bear another emperor? I seek to do it well, and I am totally inadequate. What if someone seeks to do it badly? May I have your permission to marry? Well, I need your permission. Marry whom? Anyone suitable. I'm still young enough. Yes. I need a protector now Sir Janus is taking away my friends. Your party. I need a father for my children. A leader for your party. A regent for your son. Can you deny me my right to a husband? Yes, since you are playing politics again. Good day, Agrippina. The fault of her birth. Hmm. She can command, but she's no good at asking. My own birth being lowlier. Half royal. If it had been lowlier still, I might have had more skill at handling people. Hmm. Sir so Janus does it so much better. I'm always on the lookout for good men with no particular axe to grind. Oh, yes? Hmm. In fact, you arrived at the exact moment when I was drawing up a draft list of new imperial governors and so forth. One wants men with broad sympathies. You might think about it. I shall. But the reason I asked you here tonight... Agrippina is dining at the palace tonight. Oh, yeah? And much as one might be against her politically, as you may be aware... <laughs> yes, oh. I had her. Well, frankly, for the good of Rome, one must seek to eliminate her group as a political force. You seem to have made some progress already. <laughs> Although, the last thing one wants is for anything unfortunate to happen to Agrippina herself. Of course. Trier. In confidence. It's just that someone who knows her should warn her to be careful what she eats at the palace tonight. Agrippina, is the food not to your taste? No. I agree, perhaps it was overcooked for some palace. What can I offer you instead? Nothing. I should hate to be thought a bad host. Say whatever you'd like, it'll be here in a moment. Nothing, I'm not hungry. You must pay me the compliment of eating something, however small. Some fruit, perhaps. An apple? The apples look particularly good. Let me choose the ripest for you. Thank you. 
Even the smallest appetite can hardly refuse an apple. Take it away, I don't want it. I myself favor the Democrat. What can I do with a woman who publicly alleges that I'm trying to poison her? There have been treason trials for less. Yes, in Augustus's reign, he cared what people thought about him. I've ceased to care. The throne must be held in respect. <laughs> If I were to punish everyone who thought me a villain and a murderer... You must at least punish those who plot against me. Oh, yes, I have no desire to be assassinated. Shall I remove the temptation? How? By removing myself from Rome. For a time? Perhaps forever. I'm tired of living among enemies. You have some friends. Huh? Perhaps enough for the guest rooms of a small country villa. I must leave this place. Rome disgusts me, and I disgust Rome. I'm coming more and more to disgust myself. What good does it do the Romans to see my ugly face? I govern by messages to the Senate and letters to the provinces. I could do that as well from Capri as from Rome. You've chosen Capri. The advantage of an island is no one will meet me by accident. There's one danger in your absence from Rome. Your enemies may try and seize the city. You and the Praetorian Guard will prevent them by whatever means are necessary. I'm glad you trust me. <laughs> we are bound by ties of mutual self-interest. Yes. May I ask for a further sign of your trust? Any? A year ago, you gave me permission to divorce Epicata. Yeah. And we spoke of my finding a more suitable wife. Without reaching a decision. You yourself will be safe in Capri. But if your enemies cannot strike at you, they may decide to strike at your family, your daughter-in-law and your grandson, Jamelus. I shall place them under your special protection. May I suggest that the best protection might be for me to marry Livilla? I'm not, of course, worthy by birth. But I hope you may consider me worthy as your friend and loyal supporter. Does Lavilla know of this? I have spoken to her. What does she say? She'd do anything for her son's safety. So she is willing? If you give your agreement. What you and Lavilla decide, I shall not oppose, but I cannot yet give my agreement. Your worthiness is not doubted by me, but it would be by some others. I should be foolish to do anything that might excite even worse jealousies and rivalries. You do understand. As always, you're right. I have certain projects of my own for you. What they are, I cannot at this moment disclose. All I can say is there is no place too high for your merits. And when the time comes to make an announcement to the Senate and to the public, I shall certainly do so. Good night, Sir James. Good night, Caesar. You trust him. His power is dependent on mine. The day I die, my successor will have him assassinated. And in the meantime? In the meantime, have some fruit, have some wine. I've chosen the best way of being emperor at a distance. You can give the orders. Without the labor of supervising their carrying out. I was going to say, without the unpleasantness of witnessing their consequences. I'm sorry you persisted in saying it. Well, you brought me here for my conversation. Yeah. You shall have it. The main reason for your failure as an emperor... Shall I go on? Failure, I agree. ...is your extreme fastidiousness. Nine men in ten are contemptible. 
And the management of men, which we call politics, is a contemptible business. You should have refused the throne. I try. Ruling is politics. Politics are dirty. Every good ruler yet has been in muck up to his elbows and enjoyed it. You're right. I'm not a good ruler. Problem is the Praetorian Guards. Uh, do they love Sejanus? <laughs> Does anyone? I think they can be suborned. Once that's done, the rest is easy. With Tiberius stranded on his island, all we have to do is cut him off from the mainland. What's that? Nothing. I've I heard something. Sabinus. I should tell you. Your words have been overheard and written down, and that we, too, have become friends of Sejanus. My lady, my lord, I am ordered to arrest you both on charges of treason. They resisted arrest, as a consequence of which I had no choice but to place them in Solitary confinement. Is there anyone there? Listen! Listen! Go to Tiberius. Go to that grey-haired old fornicator and tell him, tell him he's a murderer! He, he murdered my father, Germanicus, and now he's murdering me! Tell him! Tell him I, I curse him! Listen! Listen! Are, are, are you there? I, I shall be emperor. I am true emperor. I am your emperor. Give me something to eat! Why are you starving me like this? Let me out of here and I'll, I'll make you rich. I'll make you consuls. We'll, we'll, we'll kill Tiberius. We'll, we'll kill that bastard. I'll be emperor. You can be what you like. Can you hear me? To escape the punishment for his crimes, Nero Caesar has starved himself to death. His last act was to utter treasonable curses against the emperor. could, but he simply refused to eat. He was attended by a doctor. The best in Rome, Eudemus. He could do nothing to save him. I'm sorry that he died. Yes. Though he was a traitor. I have a family of traitors. Does Agrippina know? I thought you might care to write to her yourself. Another death to be laid at my door? You were not in Rome when it happened. I was not in Syria when Germanicus died, but the world says that I poisoned him. No. I shall have no further communication with Agrippina. Where is she? On the island of Pandateria. Let her stay there. She on her island, I on mine. With Agrippina's imprisonment, Nero sees his death, Spinus' his death. Rome is docile. Exactly. What can I do but thank you? You have done even more than I asked. If I've earned your gratitude, may I venture to repeat a formal request? My permission for you to marry... I her. hope I have deserved it. Stay with us another two or three days. You shall have your answer before you go. We shall see you at dinner. Till then.
If Rome is docile, who is dependent on whom? Would you do me the favour of asking Sir Torres Macro to come here? A friend of Sir Janus. He has the makings of something else. Caesar? Macro, you came here with Sir Janus. I imagine he pays you. Caesar? I imagine you're in his pay. Yes. Does he pay you enough? No. I like your affectation of honesty. It is easy to give honest answers. So far. Are you swayed by any consideration except your own ambition? No. More difficult, but honest again. Who rules Rome? The commander of the Praetorian Guard. And the Empire? The Emperor, still. Which is the more important? On balance, you, for the moment. I'm not sure for how much longer. You say that so spontaneously, it must be the result of deep reflection. My ambition demands that I study these things. Then I take it that, for the moment, you are prepared to work for me rather than anyone else, if I pay you enough? Yes, Caesar. The first task is a simple one. My guests will be here several days, except you. You will leave for Rome tonight to deliver two messages. He kept me there five days, eternally promising me an answer. The answer was no answer at all. He was inclined to agree. He let me know. Why don't we get married and let him agree to it afterwards? I need his favor. You're bigger than him now. Not quite. Yet. You've done all those other things and told him afterwards. Point is, I must get him to name me as his successor. No! Well, we agreed. Jamelus as his successor. And you as regent. Well, of course. It's the same thing. My son must be emperor. Why else did we? And you realize that your little Jamelus still has two possible rivals for the throne. Who? Your brother Claudius. He is a joke. He is a possibility. And I'm thorough. I deal with possibilities. And there's Agrippina's other son, Caligula. Everyone hates him. Hmm. Well, in that case, it shouldn't be too difficult to catch him for treason. Ask him for dinner. Let's get to know him better. But I thought you would have known. What? While you were away, Claudius and Caligula both got invitations. They've gone to stay with Tiberius in Capri. Ah! <laughs> What's the next toast? Hmm? The Praetorian Guards coupled with the name ah, of... Oh, oh, the Guards. I like the Guards, Caligula. Always been very good friends, but not... Coupled. I agree, not coupled. Uh, have you heard the latest about the uh, person we nearly coupled? No. Well, uh, the Senate will vote him.
statues of gold to be put up all over the place. With inscriptions suggesting that he's a god. <laughs> it's madness. With all due respects to my great-grandfather, the divine Augustus, men are not gods. Statues to be put up. <laughs> I think not. I assure you that well, the Senate will vote it. I agree with Caligula. I have, as it happens, written to the Senate asking them not to vote such honors to me in the future. And they won't dare vote them to anyone else. My letter does not mention anyone else. No man is worth a golden statue. Are you trying to undermine Sir Janus? Undermine? I do hope so. <laughs> Claudius, in Rome, you'll be put to death for that remark. <laughs> I mean, oh, this letter of yours about the statues oh. could make people wonder whether it's aimed at him. Let them wonder. Is it aimed? Sir Janus is my chief minister. I trust he will long continue to work for me. You mean for you and not for himself? The emperor did not say that. The emperor has a great gift for saying things that could mean this. Oh, could mean that. <laughs> and, uh, well, people uh, might start w wondering. <laughs> Let them wonder. Oh. <laughs> ah, good evening, regulars. Uh, good morning, rather. I apologize for summoning you to the palace at this time of the night, but since you are to preside over the Senate... I was told the Emperor was here. The Emperor is detained in Capri. I am his messenger. Ah, that should be Laco, a colonel of the Praetorian Guard. Do you know him? Laco. Regulus. Uh, we know each other. Uh, do you mind if I speak to Laco first? I have here the Emperor's commission appointing me commander of the Praetorian Guards in place of Sejanus. Good morning, my lord. Well, what is it? And you at the Senate? I bring the best of all possible news. What? I have delivered a letter to the Senate. The Emperor asked me to tell you in advance so that you may give some thought to your speech of acceptance. Acceptance? The letter asks the Senate to grant you the Tribunician power and names you as the Emperor's successor. Tiberius Caesar to the Senate. Greeting. I request your permission to single out for my special greetings and compliments. The worthy senator who has become the first man in the state after myself, Lucius Elius Sejanus. <laughs> it is true that I have raised Sejanus from comparative obscurity to be my chief minister and the partner of my labor and that this has occasioned some criticism and some resentment from those who think that birth should be rewarded rather than merit. I fully realize the possible dangers in raising such a man to such eminence and such power. But I affirm that Sejanus has in the past rendered notable services to myself and to the state. I do not need to remind you. But you may go up to it, Imam. I've been ordered by the commander to take charge of this guard myself. And each of it and have joined in voting ever more new honors in full accordance with his deserve. I admit that in prosecuting the family and friends of my adopted son, Germanicus, he may have shown more zeal than discretion. But it is possible to interpret his zeal as evidence of his desire to protect the throne against treasonable activities and not as a desire to secure his own position and his own advancement. I could have wished that he had tempered justice with mercy. 
Though I have always held that nothing less than justice must be done, and I am aware that his decisions have been ratified by you, the Senate. It has more than once come into my mind that these ratifications were evidence of an undesirable docility, indeed servility. But I have dismissed the thought as unworthy of myself and unjust to you. There may be some of you who now think that you were wrong to be so obedient to his commands. And there may be some who attribute his actions to personal ambition. Indeed, I myself have suspected this when I have found him pressing his claims to become my son-in-law and the guardian of my grandson. However, it has long been in my mind to raise Sejanus to still greater heights, to propose to the Senate that he should be granted the Tribunician power and named as my successor to the throne. His abilities are so great that I can only reluctantly come to the conclusion, conclusion that his ambition disqualifies him from office and makes him a danger to the security of the state. I therefore ask the Senate that Sejanus should be forthwith put under arrest. Sejanus, Sejanus, come here. What does the Senate say to the Emperor's request? Death. Death. executed two hours later. His body was torn down by the mob. What they left went in the river. There was not much left of it. I should tell you that the Senate also decreed the death of his children by his marriage to Apicata. The boy was strangled in the normal manner. The girl, being a virgin... The law of Rome does not permit the execution of a virgin. ...was violated by the public executioner before being strangled, thereby making it legal. Caesar, may I humbly say you were justified? Was I? 
Apicata, Sir Janus's divorced wife, witnessed the death of her children. Before committing suicide, she wrote this letter. To you. Apicata? Do you know what it says? What does it say? It says that in order to secure the succession for your grandson Gemellus, Sir Janus and Livilla poisoned your son Drusus. The poison was administered by the doctor Eudemus. This was known to Apicata through the servants. She did not dare tell you till after her death. Torture the doctor till he confesses, then kill him. Send a message to Lavilla, she would do best to kill herself. Leave me. 